Hey y'all, uh, it's a nice calm early overcast morning, it's kind of foggy, water is flat like glass. Cruise over to a spot, see if I can find some crappies, maybe catch a couple nice channel cat. So, it's pretty quiet out here on the lake this morning. Um, I'm at a spot that's uh, been ups and downs for me here uh, as far as crappie go. Uh, something just kind of splashed right out there. There's actually a um, pretty interesting uh, green algae bloom. I'm not sure if you can really see that. Um, maybe you can see it if I swirl the water around a little bit. You can sort of see the green particles in the water. Um, it's We've seen this in a couple of the coves. Um, it's called blue-green algae. We've seen this in a couple of the coves this year, it's including my own. And uh, that was you know a number of weeks back. And we actually had a really big fish kill because of it. Uh, but that was back when the weather was really extremely warm. And we had a massive blue-green algae bloom. Um, now what's funny about this is, Oh, there we go. There's a nice fish jumping right there. This might be a good morning to be right here. Um, I've never seen this. Uh, I've never seen this blue-green algae this far out into the main channel of this lake. Got a few minnows left. Small number of minnows. Let's see if we can find a couple crappie. Um, maybe I'll catch a little bluegill or something or a crappie. A little cut up for some catfish bait. And we're today's just we're just gonna see what we catch. And I said my motto: always be fishing. Apparently I always be catching spiders in this boat, man. Boy, do I have a lot of spiders in the boat right now. Anyhow, it's a cool spot because we're kind of poised right on a drop off where it goes from about four feet and then it drops down to about 13 feet over the course of maybe 10 or 15 yards. And usually somewhere along that slope, you could find some fish stacked up. So I'm just gonna cast around a little bit, the bobbers and minnows. And I'm also gonna throw out at least one rod for a channel cat. And we'll just see what, we'll see what happens. I don't know if I was recording any of that. Unfortunately, now the speed boats are starting to come out and bring out the speed. Another little one, not a slab, not a slab. It's another black crappie. Not super dark color, but that's a black crappie. Crappie Town, USA, baby. Okay, that's the last time I'm gonna say it. I'm just happy to find them. Uh, they're just, they're tippy tap. Ooh, he jumped. Now this is a better looking crappie. That's a nice crappie right there. That is a nice crappie. Hey, you came off the hook right there in my hand. That's that's a nice, um, some decent shoulders on him for this lake, a nice black crappie. That's good looking. I'm gonna get a little photo of myself with this guy. Now on this particular lake, there just aren't a whole lot of, you know, 14, 16 inches. So a nine, a nine, and a, you know, nine, ten, eleven. Those are those are good eating crappie out of this lake right now. And my freezer is about out of crappie. So Let's see if I can turn as many of these little minnows into crappies as possible. I'm gonna have to get to the point here where I turn each and every one of these minnows into a crappie. But I'll tell you what. I need to kind of reposition my boat a little bit. I just 
saw a guy get pulled across the water on his butt. Now I think he's up on, I think he's being on bare feet. These are not big crap. You're too little. Little big brother. That's one of them nines. It's more of them niners. Sometimes it seems like I have better luck with a gold hook versus a black or just a plain metal hook. There we go. Oh crap, I got two on at the same time. Oh, that one came off. This may be a channel cat. He's acting like a channel cat. Yep. I knew he was a channel cat. Little fiddler. Taking my bait. I love channel cat. He'd have been a, a pan fryer. A little bitty pan fryer. But he tastes delicious, but it's not what I'm after right now. I'm trying to get a basket of crappies. I'm running out of bait to do so with. crappie on yellow bass of course I often find them hanging out in the same spot so not a totally bad sign believe it or not I've actually eaten those before they're not too bad I'm gonna cut that red line out of them though maybe, maybe I'll make a video on that because there are a lot of lakes in this state that have a pretty sizable population of those things a lot of people view them as a nuisance and they can be but they can also be pretty tasty. Matter of fact, mixed up in a fish fry with a bunch of other small pan fish, uh, most people wouldn't wouldn't realize that you had anything different on there. Ooh, there we go. Here's another nice slab, as we would call it for this lake. Again, this is on that uh, that gold hook. I seem to be. We have a little bit better luck with the gold hook. I about tossed him back in the water. That's about the way my morning's been going. Except for the fact that I'm actually finding some of these nice crappies. Move up the front seat. See if I can make it a little bit easier on myself. Well, I usually don't fish from up here. It's kind of tight quarters. I have to get accustomed to fishing up here. Tell you the difference between them channel cats and them crappies is night and day between the way they take it and the way they fight you. Okay, so no more minnows left for this rod. Switch that over to a jig here momentarily.
a nice channel cat, y'all. This is a nice channel cat. Oh, yeah. There we go. He may be a six pounder. Seven and a quarter pounds. Seven and a quarter. So I'm catching these fish. My wife says, you need to come home. You believe that? I don't believe it. Let's go catch one more chance. Look at that idea, huh? I need to be quick about this whole deal. I need to be real quick about this whole deal. Not the cast I'm trying to make. There we go. Yeah. See? Sometimes it's best not to listen to your wife. That was pretty quick. Let's see if I can get another one. Come home with a full basket. She can't be all mad. Maybe she can. basket. We're in the speed round here now. Speed round, speed round. Speed round crappie. Come on. Got him. Ooh. Things like that start going wrong this time. All right, so didn't get quite as many as I was hoping for. The seven pound channel cat was a nice surprise. One, two, three, I don't know, six or seven, maybe eight. Eight um, size drop is in the basket. Happy about that. 